So you get this from the butcher as a primer of a pork. And so what they've basically done is they've taken all the fat cap off of it and they brought it right down to the straight down to the bones. And what you're going to do on the back side of it is you're going to score the bones just a little bit above the top of the uh, where the curve is. And then you're going to cut in between the bones. I'm just taking out the meat in between the bones so you get that French look. Okay. And you're going to come back with your knife and cut these pieces out. Now this, you can, you, you can dice this up and put this in your stuffing if you want to, or you can make that into a, a casserole. Now it's kind of, you're going to see that there's still meat on the bones. Now you can either go through and take your knife and scrape these off, but what's going to happen, they're in the oven for such a long time that they're going to that's all going to burn off. So what you want to do is you want to curve this so that it goes and curves in like this. All right, so you're making a roast like this and you're going to see that it doesn't match up. So what you're going to do is these last few chops you're going to cut off so it can curl in. Okay. And then we're going to put a piece of rope or twine right underneath this so it st sticks up like this. So that's what we're going to do. So you're going to try to make sure that you got that. String all the way around. In the middle. So that's pretty much the crown roast of pork. And then we're going to put it in a roasting pan. But to make it so that the ribs stay apart, you're going to crumple up a piece of aluminum foil. You're going to put that right in the center, and then that's what will happen is the ribs will cook okay. out like that. Uh, 375 to 400 degrees depending on your oven, because every oven is just a little bit different. Um, and I, I had this in for three and a half hours. You want to have a, a thermometer that will slide into the center of the roast because it's all meat on the bottom part of this roast. Um, you want to be able to slide all the way in, and it's 165 degrees for 15 seconds. Stove top stuffing mix, but usually what I use is a, um, our artisan bread, which is a raisin walnut bread. And so I cubed it, and then added sage and apples and raisins. Well, there's is raisins, but I add a little bit more raisins to it. And, uh, um, and that's what I'm adding to this to make the stuffing. And I cook the stuffing separate from the pork because it will take less time. It'll take two and a half to three hours as opposed to three to four if you put the stuffing in the actual crown. Take that stuffing and you're going to put it right in the center. And that's what makes it look nice. And I leave the string on until I take off, you know, have it all stuffed. Uh -huh. Only because, you know, you're going to want to somewhat push that down into it a little bit. So that's the crown roast pork.